Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Mohammed Dantasha. I'm Kristen Mason. Hello, I am Simone Miar. And I'm Adriana Bertot. And we're here today to talk about supply chain management. Hello, once again. So, Adriana, what is supply chain management? Well, you know, Mo, I'm really not sure, but UPS has this really cute video that we should check out. Logistics makes the world work better. When it's planes in the sky for a chain of supply, that's logistics. When the parts for the line come precisely on time, that's logistics. A continuous link that is always in sync, that's logistics. Carbon footprint reduced, bottom line gets a boost, that's logistics. With new ways to compete, there'll be cheers on Wall Street, that's logistics. When technology knows right where everything goes, that's logistics. Bells will ring, ring, ding, ring, ding, ring, ding, that's logistics. There will be no more stress, cause you called UPS, that's logistics. That is a cute video, by the way. But, uh, Simone, what's the real definition of supply chain management? Thank you, Mo. Supply chain management is a really interesting concept, and throughout the research, we found that the definition varied. But one of the better definitions I found was by the European Journal of Purchasing and Supply Management, and they described supply chain management as a network of organizations that are involved through linkages, upstream and downstream linkages, to produce value in the form of products and services to its final consumer. I'm going to talk a little bit about the development of supply chain management. In the early years, in the apparel and textile industry, the American firms were coming under competition from foreign firms. They found it very hard to compete with those firms' prices, and they came together and crafted a coalition called the Crafted with Pride in the USA Coalition. Under this coalition, they had an independent firm to assess how they operate, the apparel and textile industry operate. What the firm found was that the time it took for the products to leave from the warehouse from the manufacturer rather, to the ultimate consumers, it was an average of 66 weeks. Now, the research shed light on where the weaknesses are, were in the system, and it found that 40 of the 66 weeks were spent with the product in either hidden in warehouses somewhere or in transit. Now, out of that, developed a system called the Quick Response System. That allowed suppliers, manufacturers, wholesalers to work interdependently with each other to, to provide information so they could better forecast and meet the demands of their customers and become more competitive. That is very, very insightful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Adriana, once again. So, how do businesses actually use this technology? Well, Mo, it's actually quite simple. Companies actually focus on three main things. Develop, track, and deliver their product to the customer. Now, Mo, let's say that you order something from Amazon. Mm -hmm. Amazon will send that product to UPS, and UPS will give you a tracking number. That tracking number uh, follows your product from the warehouse all the way to your front door. The main door. goal is to get your product to the right person at the right place at the right time. So, Kristen, can you tell us how this technology is used to achieve business management? Sure. Well, supply chain management has shifted from being tactical to strategic, strategic in nature. And because of this, managers now need to be concerned with improving customer service, improving the products and the performance of the company. Having a supply chain management information system will improve the company's forecast, coordinate production, and delivery, and improve inventory related decisions. It will also help you understand the company's bottlenecks. Once you have a information system in place, the company will in return realize a decrease in inventory costs and an improvement in cash flows and cycle times. Thank you, Kristen. So seeing how supply chain has become a critical part of business operation. Uh, to better serve customers, 
you need the right product at the right time, at the right location, and in the right quantity. Therefore, to improve the overall business bottom line, supply chain is just not needed, but it has become essential over the years. Um, in conclusion, we believe managing your supply chain gives an advantage to staying ahead of the competition. Uh, for example, Walmart does it better than everybody else. Um, and now with the introduction of RFID technology, there have been significant improvement uh, to supply chain and management. IBM, for uh, instance, in conjunction with uh, produce manufacturers, are uh, now able to track produce all the way from the farm to the grocery chain. And this has significant cost reductions in the near future. Uh, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy our presentation. On behalf of Group 2, thank you very much and we hope you enjoyed our presentation.